Welcome to the gap. This is the gap. Yeah. They should have never gave you platform. Hey, before we get into this week's episode, gotta say RIP. Give a moment of silence for a motherfucking legend, DMX. So I want to give like ten second silence for DMX. Yo. Man, DMX was a motherfucking legend, man. R.I.P. to bruh. Man. What's good with y'all? It's episode 15. This is The Gap. I'm Kamal. Ooh, and like the tubers say, like, share, comment, subscribe, and push that notification bell. And for my potters out there, I'm on Apple Podcasts, I'm on SoundCloud Podcasts, no, not SoundCloud Pod, SoundCloud and Google Podcasts. <laughs> I had them all mixed up. I'm mixing them all in. But... It's called to be a boy in the building. Hey man, I'm gonna tell you my uh my DMX story, how I got introduced to listening to bruh. Uh basically my bro Kevion, bro. Shout out to Kevion. So like one day, this fucking uh it was like in you know, like middle school or some shit like that. And this nigga was listening to something and he just started barking. I'm like, why the fuck is this nigga barking? What the fuck wrong with this nigga? And they just keep doing it and he rapping I'm like, bruh, something. Man. Who the fuck are you listening to, bruh? He told me it was DMX. Bruh. And ever since, I've been a motherfucking fan, bruh. That was like, that was like, like sixth grade, bro. Like, man, this nigga got me through a lot of shit, bro. Like, I was listening to bruh shit in like middle school when a nigga was like homeless with his fam and shit. This nigga got me through that shit, bro. So, RIP to a motherfucking legend, DMX. <sighs> Gone at 50, man. You gone, but you'll never be fucking forgotten. Love you, bruh. Anyway, let's get to the to the show. Let's get to the first topic. Man, first topic, man. Feel me? All right. My Asian Americans out there. Boy, I'm glad y'all getting this 50 mil from Biden. Y'all getting the grant. He giving them the grant for basically the domestic violence. And sexual violence has been happening to the Asian Americans out here. Like, bro's giving them the 50 mil. I, I fucks with that. This what I don't fuck with, though. Where our share at, bro? We've been through 400 years of this shit, bro. Domestic violence. KKK, domestic violence against black people. Sexual violence. Our black women been getting raped for years by white men. Where's our compensation, bro? Come on, Biden. And you too. Come out like Harris. What the, man? I seen that fucking clip of you doing all that fucking antics, bro. What the fuck? Man, I'm not just gonna do shit for black people. Excuse me? What? But you're doing it for a specific group. The Asian Americans. And I'm not faulting y'all for that. I'm glad y'all doing that. Good shit. Good job. Where the fuck our share at, though? Fuck all that. Where our share? I want our Asian Americans to get that money and us to get our money. Come on, man. We've been through the same struggle. Fuck out of here with that. Shit, bullshit. Kamala (laughs) doing all that neck roll. Miss Harris, come on now. You say you wasn't going to do it for a specific group, and then you do it for a specific group. We waiting. You black too, right? Last time I checked. You're a black and Asian woman. Man, this is telling you, man, all that. <laughs> I ain't giving nothing that's specifically to the black people. Bro, shut the f*** up. That bullshit. Look it. My gripe is this. I I want my Asian Americans to get that money. Shit. I got a bunch of homies that's fucking Asian. Love them to death. Get that money. We all deserve money. All of it. Just don't bypass us, motherfucker. And then use that fucking... So you're saying domestic violence is sexual violence like my black people haven't been through the ringer for 400 years. 
Steelers. Fuck, man. Doing this bullshit. Fuck. Look. Oh, man. Anyway, let's get to the next topic, though. And we are about to talk the relationship that black-owned media companies have with advertising companies. And this was sparked up, basically, I was watching the Joe Budden podcast, and he read uh, Puffy's letter, because he, he has Revolt. That's his media company that Diddy owns. But now, he had this letter that comes out, and he's talking about GM, which is, like, who's advertising, and has advertisement in Revolt. And basically, what was going on was basically, look, at the advertisement companies is dicking over black-owned media companies, in a nutshell. They fucking us over, they underrepresenting us, they ain't giving us our fair share, it's fucking bullshit. I'm a black-owned media company. I haven't got to the advertisement shit yet, but when I do... I'm paying attention before I even get there. And I see they already fucking shit over when it comes to black-owned media companies. So, what was in this letter, basically, it was a letter to corporate America. And it included media companies such as Revolt, which is uh, Puffy's media company. And he was just breaking down the, the, the receiving revenue from the GM. And so, basically... In 2019, brands all across the room, all across, just not only GM, all brands in 2019, spent a whopping $239 billion. Guess how much black owned uh, media companies got, though? I'll wait. <laughs> I'm going to wait and let y'all tell me, even though you can't tell me, but hey, pause it right now and take a guess. All right, bam. 1%, man. We got less than 1%. What the f- how the fuck we only get 1%? That's fucking poo! Bro, what the hell? 1%? Let, come on. What? And it shows the number. The numbers are cl- clearly here. Out of G- GM spent $3 billion on advertisement. Guess how much Revolt got? Oh, wait. Hmm. 10 motherfucking million was spent on black-owned media companies. Not just Revolt. Just black-owned media companies. And Revolt is up in there. Bow. Within that black-owned media company. We got $10 million, nigga. What the fuck? That ain't fucking shit. That's bullshit. They spent three billion to only give 10 mil to black-owned media companies. Fucking bullshit. You know what else is crazy? We only represent 1% of the total fucking market. But guess how much we represent in America? Yeah, 13 to 14%. Underrepresented. Once again, look, we represent 15% of the revenue. Why we ain't getting 15% to us? Add money. Why not? Don't make no damn sense. Represent 15% of the revenue. And we ain't even getting, we getting less than fucking 1% of the ad money. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. They want our black dollars, but they don't want to give us no ad money. I see y'all. Fuck out of here. That's how corporate America be, bro. It be bullshitting. This shit just don't make no sense, man. It don't make no sense. Bro, they're giving away, like, you know how much money they're giving away annually? $1.4 trillion. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. But, like, we make we make 13, 14%, bro. We bringing in we bring in uh 1.4 trillion of that fucking money to these niggas annually when it comes to these companies. <sighs> and they ain't fucking with us, man. They don't love us out here, bro. They don't love us out here. Oh, let me rewind that. The uh ad shit, they're not spending uh solely 1.4 trillion. I don't know how much they're uh exactly spending. I know 2019 is 240 billion. But we create one point. We spend for one point four trillion annually. That's what I meant to say. So scratch that shit I said earlier. You know, sometimes I mix shit up because I be passionate. And I be getting kind of heated. And I'm like, bro, you see these numbers? These shit don't make no goddamn sense. Fuck crazy out here, man. But that was basically included. What was included in Puffy's letter? He was basically saying this shit is bullshit. And 
And it's like, we spend so much money. They take so much of the black dollar, but we don't get no kickback from it. We get no ad revenue from it. We're so underrepresented when it comes to that. And it's like, when it comes to black-owned media companies, we kind of already scarce out here anyway. So it's just like, man, it's just... It's just, all, it's just in your face, man. I told you, systematic racism is a f***ing octopus. They got hella arms. Arm over here. Arm over there. Arm over there. Arm over there. This nigga got them octopus. Fuck, man. But anyway, off the topics. Ooh, you know what we about to get into. We about to get into the SAV segment. Let's get it. Ooh-wee. You know, like my SAV segment. And we're about to get into, you know it, Godzilla vs. Kong on HBO Max. And you want to know how I feel about this movie? You want to know how I felt? I have no <laughs> button for that because I don't have an indifference button. <laughs> like, I just felt, man, it's like, what? Like, <sighs> all right, we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll have the air horns going. Wow, the farts going. While the fart's going. That's the best I could do. That's how I felt about this motherfucking movie. Shit. So IMDb gave it 6.6 .6 out of 10. And Rotten Tomatoes gave it 75%. But Gig. those critics don't give a damn about them niggas. This came out on March 31st. <laughs> Budget was 160 to 200 mil. Which don't fucking make no sense. Why couldn't they give me a exact number for the budget? I don't understand that. If y'all get it down below in the comments, let me know. But it already grossed 132 mil, so this shit bo -bo 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 booming. This shit booming. God damn. A lot of people are acting on Zilla first to Kong, I see. <laughs> but this shit was directed by Adam Wingard. Wingard. That's a funny ass last name. That nigga sound like a creature. Hey, <laughs> yo, let me know down in the comments below. Wingard. Y'all like that last name? That shit sound like a little fucking ugly ass creature. Shit pretty tight, though, but that shit is a crazy-ass name. But Bro's the director. Then they had actors and actresses such as Millie Bobby Brown. Ooh, if y'all know who she is, she's from Stranger Things, okay? I love her name, though. Millie Bobby Brown. What a fucking name. <sighs> then you got Brian Tariq Henry. <laughs> Bruh, great-ass actor. Because, like, in his role with this... He's like a nerdy, fast-talking, conspiracy podcast motherfucker, right? But in his role in Atlanta, this nigga's the gangster's gangster out there. Like, it's, he's such a great actor, man. Damn. Bro. That was one of the bright spots of this movie. The acting in it was incredible. Millie Bobby Brown, Brian Tree Henry, all the, everybody else is in it. Y'all all killed y'all acting roles. That was motherfucking gold. Liquid gold, baby. Ah, man. So, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. I mean, I don't know why the f*** y'all called it Godzilla vs. Kong. Y'all should have just called it Godzilla whooping Kong's ass up and down the f jungle, Japan streets, America, the sea. This f was whooping Kong's ass every f***ing moment he got. I just didn't understand. I'm like, this f Kong got no f***ing hands. This f couldn't throw no punches. He was getting his ass slapped around. It, bro, there was one point when Godzilla, right? The second time they fought. Because they fought they fought twice. First time they fought, they was out on sea. You feel me? They took Kong out of his home, right? And Kong was just chilling. And he had his little partner. You know, his little partner chilling. And they both sad because they had to leave home. And they taking out Kong to go fight Godzilla. And Kong don't want no smoke. That's fucked up. Feel me? First time they fought at the sea, this nigga Kong didn't know what was happening. He was all chained up. He got out the chains. Godzilla started whooping his ass immediately underwater. It felt like Kong couldn't even breathe underwater. Fucked him up. Whooped his ass. So I was like, all right. It's cool. That's the first fight. I give it that. He got his ass whooped. But second fight, he might throw them hands. Then they take him to some somewhere. They went through some toilet teleportation. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. The graphics were incredible. That was another great thing. Oh, my God. What came up with that? FS effects? Oh my god! Kudos to y'all. Gee, them was some incredible effects. But they somehow went to Japan. Just of the movie was they took Godzilla smell funk, so one of the whatever the f they call themselves. They thought it was Kong. They took Kong out to fight this nigga. It come out to be the man. 
the man was creating a mega Godzilla, which is basically robot Godzilla. They're creating that, and that's what Godzilla was sensing, but nobody knew. This nigga trying to make a weapon. And then fuck around, Kong, they out in the sea, they trying to take him to some island, I guess. I don't know where the fuck they were trying to take him. They should have left his ass at home. He wanted to be home, and y'all fucking take him out to try to fight y'all battles. But got his ass whooped on the sea. Then they went to, they were like, oh, where are they at? Uh, some island that they were somewhere. Godzilla found him again. Whooping Kong's ass. Like, Kong didn't put up a fucking fight, bro. Like, this nigga didn't even touch, bro. What the fuck? Nigga. Man, now I feel the pain of people that used to watch them old Mike Tyson fights and they pay all that money to see a nigga knock a nigga out in the first round in 30 seconds. I felt your pain. <laughs> like, damn, bro. Kong put up a fight, bro. Damn. But Godzilla whooped bro ass so bad, right? This nigga Kong was laid out like this, like, please, please stop whooping my ass. I can't take it no more. And Godzilla looked at him, stepped over him, and he was about to give him the final blow and was like, man, you was a bitch. I'm walking the fuck away. Spared that nigga life. <laughs> Spared his fucking life, bruh. This nigga Kong is like, oh, thank you, Godzilla. Oh, you won. Oh, and Godzilla's like, shut your bitch ass up. Get up. Get up, Craig. Get up, Kong. Get up, Kong. I taught you better than this. <laughs> then what happened was like, Godzilla sensed it wasn't Kong because he whooped Kong ass so easily. He was like, nah, there's an another Titan out there. That's what they call themselves, Titans. There's another Titan out there that's giving off this energy and I need this shit. So Kong ended up going to Japan and then like basically Millie Bobby Brown character was like her dad was some general in the army and knew about the shit. But she listened to Brian Ter Terry Henry uh, character, which was the podcast of Conspiracy Bird. And they linked up to find out that like, yo, you motherfuckers were making a weapon and Godzilla's true, like blah, blah, blah. And so they met up and they were always in Japan and then Mega Godzilla got out and the fucking man slash villain like while millie bobby brown was in in there talking to bruh about like yo y'all fucked up y'all need to disconnect this fucking uh mega godzilla what are y'all doing this is the reason why godzilla's up y'all fucking everything up <sighs> then what happened yep just like a goddamn android it malfunctioned it <laughs> malfunctioned and it killed the fucking, the man, villain, because this nigga wants to talk all day and be like, yeah, you know what, man, you know I made this robot Godzilla, and he more powerful than Godzilla, and I'm about to kill all you bitches. And right before he got to say bitches, he was like, they're by looking like, oh shit, Mega Godzilla out, oh shit. This nigga is like, I'm about to kill all you bitch. Bow, and got his ass killed. Smack that nigga up. Then he killed the uh the one dude that was operating the Mega Godzilla. He killed his ass. So now Mega Godzilla is just running free. Nobody controlling him. Come out, bow. Then he start coming out whooping Godzilla's ass. This is the Godzilla I remember. Every Godzilla I remember, bro, Godzilla used to get his ass whooped first. He never just whoops the Titans' ass off GP. Hell no. Godzilla be getting fucked up at first. So that's what's happening. He getting his ass whooped. Bow, 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 bow. Whooping his ass. Bang, bang, bang. You want to know what happened? And at that moment, I'm like, bro, I'm tired. I'm tired of this shit. Get the fuck out of here. Here come fucking Kong. Want to try to be a hero. Come with a little fucking butter knife sword thing. And then he start helping Godzilla whoop Mega Godzilla ass. But I'm like, bro, Kong, you already a bitch. You got your ass whooped handedly by Godzilla. I don't care what you do to Mega Godzilla. You still a hoe. <laughs> bro. And then he come and beats up Mega Godzilla with Godzilla. Uh... And that's it. Yeah. Ha! That's the end of the movie. That's basically all you need to know. That is it. What the fuck was that bullshit? Like, the effects, incredible. The acting, incredible. 
The rest of that shit? Poo! What the fuck? I could have wrote some better shit than that. Oh my god, that was ass. Shit. Yeah, give him the goofy laugh. We laughing at you niggas. We laughing at you motherfuckers. That shit was poo, nigga. Rest of that shit, man. I get that shit a 5 out of 10, man. What the fuck, man? Y'all should have made the fighting scenes better, too. That shit was ass. Even the Mega Godzilla with Godzilla and Kong, that fight scene was terrible. And that what Godzilla was all about, the fight scenes. The Titans fighting each other. I can't believe y'all fucked that up. God damn it. Fuck. Man, I gotta talk to my brother Kong, man. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't even gonna talk to Kong. I'm going to talk to you goddamn motherfucker white people that took Kong out of his habitat. He was chilling, being Kong, and y'all took him out and made him sad and showed that he was a weenie. He got his ass whooped. He made the little girl sad too. She the only one who understood Kong with her sign language and shit. And they just wanted to chill. Just like y'all motherfuckers. want to take something out that's chilling in his habitat to make him go fight something. They don't even want to fight. They probably, they got cool afterwards. They were cool. Yeah, I'll see how y'all do. <laughs> Fucked up. <sighs> well, anyway, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Know what time it is. Yeah. It's mean, mean time. time. It's mean, mean time. Yeah. Ooh, mean time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, these... This week's, this week's mean, man. Let's get it. Yeah. Woo. So for my potters, man. So we got the first meme. And we got uh we got this dad. Or it could be his uncle. I don't know. This is some fucking white man that got a baby in his hand trying to put the baby in the water. And then the caption reads, look, fam, it's not that deep. <laughs> It's not that deep, fam. You know you hear that shit all the time. You know who usually say that shit, though? Niggas always tell you that shit. Look, fam, it ain't that deep. When they don't bother they ass that much. Yo, shut the fuck up. To some people, it might be deep as hell. So leave them the fuck alone. Saying that stupid ass shit. It ain't that deep, fam. It be a nigga. It be a nigga that fucking swindle you for $200 at the bar, right? Do you see him again? Y'all think your homie like, hey, bro, you got me on them drinks, though? Look, fam, it ain't that deep, bro. It's only like $200, nigga. Yeah, but you fucking owe me $200, you bitch-ass nigga. It is deep. It's ocean deep at this point. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> I hate a nigga that owe niggas money. They the main niggas. It ain't that deep, fam. It ain't that deep, fam. Fam. I hate, man, shut up. Them people... It ain't that deep, man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, snap. All right, man. So, for my potters out there, bro, we got the, the blue Gatorade bottle. But you know the twist off one? You just do the, you got to do the sucking. You got to suck the shit out that juice. Pause that, because that sounded very pausable. <laughs> but, hey, all right, it reads, her. Where'd you learn to suck my titties like? Me. Show her that Gatorade bottle, baby. Ew. Inappropriate means I love them. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, bro, you know how it is, bro. Man, Hoopers out there, bro. You know we had these Gatorade bottles, and you know I had to suck the shit out that shit. So, ladies, hey. <laughs> you always wondering where we get our sex moves from. It ain't from porno. It's just from everyday objects. <laughs> Snapperooskies. Woo. <laughs> so inappropriate. All right, bro. Next me, man. All right, this from um. Damn, what was bro name off the uh the show? What show was this again? This was uh no no man. It's all my children. What the fuck was the name of that show? Oh, I can't think of the show right now. Living 
It, it was a great black sitcom, though. I cannot... I think it had Damon Wayans in it. I know that Damon Wayans in it. It's not all of my children. Who gives a damn? Uh, his son. His stupid-ass son. He in the picture. He looking like a damn pimp. Got the little flip phone. Got the jewelry on. And got the little chickies on him. Like, ooh, damn. Baby, you look good. And he like, step the fuck off. So that's who in the picture. But then the words it got, above bro, it got me and my craft. Then the one chick, self-doubt. Other chick, these hoes. Other chick, procrastination. <laughs> hey, that's how you be, bro. You be, but when you committed to your craft, it's got all this shit that try to hit you. It's like, get off me, goddammit. I'm just trying to be the best me that I could be, baby. <laughs> bro, okay. Bro, her name was Junior in the show. I cannot think of the show right now. In the comments below, if you know this show that I'm talking about, comment below. They got Damon Wayans in it, and his son was named Junior. Junior was dumb as hell. He had three children. He had Junior, which was the oldest. He had the chick, which was fucking ditzy, too. She was like the middle child. Then he had the sweet, innocent, young uh, young daughter. She was so sweet. She was so, oh, my God. But, yeah, what was the name of this show? Anyway, in the comments below, let me know the name of the show because I can't think of it right now. I can't think of it right now. Watch, watch how I'm going to think of this shit once I turn the fucking camera off. Fuck, man. I know that's going to happen. I know that's going to happen. <sighs> but, anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching this, hearing this to the end of The Gab. I'm Kamal. And like the tubers say, like, share, comment, subscribe. And push that notification bell. And for my potters out there, type in Kamal Johnson. And I pop up on SoundCloud. I pop up on Apple Podcasts. And I pop up on Google Podcasts. Yeah. Woo. <sighs> on that note, be a boy is out the building. Bow. The name of the show. What the hell is the name? This was good. This was scary.